my name is Denise and I've been homeschooling for about 10 years now and I just finished this book recently and um, just wanted to share it with you because it's amazing and it has so many um, great history moments and um, transformational experiences. I really loved a story about a man named Leo who um, just felt called by God to go and be a tour guide at Plymouth for this um, for a statue there that's amazing and he um, I just I'm sorry I just feel like this and is Jessica so... you got to go meet Leo is that right I did I met Leo when I um, went to Plymouth mm -hmm. on a tour with Tim Ballard tell us a little bit about Leo um, he he's very passionate he loves what he does and he um, he was really inspiring he quit his job in order to become a tour guide and he um, and he moved to Plymouth with his wife and they teach people they they're they want to teach people about the pilgrims but most importantly they want to teach them about their their relationship with God and and why they came to the new world that it was the stories that are being told now are uh, not quite accurate and this is the pilgrim mm -hmm. hypothesis Yes. This is the Tim Ballard. Mm -hmm. And Denise actually wants to now take over Leo's job. <laughs> yes, I want to be a pilgrim and tell everyone all about what happened. And her there. husband's super on board. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We love that book. What else, Denise? What else has, has touched you about? Um, about this book? Well, no, about just books in general, like the, the Liberty books. Um, Your favorites. So I recently read Just Mercy and watched that movie and then read the book. And you and have the book, yeah? Can I you see do, it? Yeah. It'll help us know what kind of a commitment it is. Okay, Just Mercy, Brian Stevenson. Yeah, so this book, I, I think I have wrote so many questions. In the, I mean, not a ton, but for me, a lot. <laughs> so it, it just made me think a lot about what, what freedom is and how we should, how we should treat prisoners and um, just people in life. I, I feel like it taught me that... Um, we need to do less judging and more loving and more support for those around us because so many people don't have that and they end up making bad choices and we need to just look past that and love them anyway. And, and what age the group? will be a better place. What age group should for read For the this? book and for the movie, yeah. Um, probably a teenager. Older group. Older mm -hmm. group. Um, I know they have a a, a younger version for this for teenagers, so mm. this this would be like an adult version. I don't think there was anything too crazy in there, but you'd probably want to be 13 or 14. In the movie, you recommend it? Yeah, yeah. It's, My sister it's loved life it. It's life-changing, yeah. Yeah. It really is. Thanks so much, Denise and Jess. Appreciate you guys.